Welcome back to Suvita Everything guys. We got a different episode today. I am not cooking anything, but Mau Mau is our coffee master and he will be making us some amazing coffee today. So let's get right on to it. Mau Mau, you gotta hand over the camera and it is your turn, brother. Let's do it. All right, right now we're gonna make a regular, traditional Cuban coffee. Fill this out to the top. Oh, look who we got here. Good morning, senor. Good morning. Yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You heard the word coffee in camera. Right, my how you doing? Mama is teaching us how to make Cuban coffee, bro. Ma hold on a sec. Mama is teaching you to make Cuban coffee? Yeah. Who teach Mama? You? I need credit. Credit? I need some credit. Yeah. And then what do you do, Mama? You put it in the machine? Just put it in the machine. And that's it? That's it. So that's the Cuban coffee? That's the Cuban coffee. All right. Oh, you don't want to use American coffee to do Cuban coffee. It's not going to work out. Is that true, Ninja? It's true, and it's Cuban coffee. It's not espresso. It's not uh, any of those things. It's Cuban coffee. You have to go to Amazon and get it. Uh, you gotta keep an eye on it because it's gonna start sputtering, and you can leave it sputter a little bit, but don't let it until it finishes because then your coffee is gonna taste burnt. Sugar makes your life sweeter, so put as much as you can. Just coat the bottom of the thing. Oh, that's the Cuban coffee. Oh, good job, Mama. That's what we call the nectar of the gods. Okay, Mama, so we just finished the Cuban coffee. Now explain to us the sous vide coffee. How does yeah. it work? Sous vide coffee is basically another way to do it uh, iced coffee. The measurements are one measurement of coffee for two measurements of water for two hours at 150 Fahrenheit. All right, let's do it. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill out this bottle a third of the way with coffee and then two thirds with water. And then just make sure you mix it. We had the other set at 150. So it is at 150 degrees Fahrenheit, all right. And just put it over there. And if you put it down, there's some air coming out. Don't worry, that's normal. See you in two hours. So now Mama is gonna make us some Vietnamese coffee. And we have a little issue. But Mama is not from Vietnam. We got condensed milk right here, but we don't know how to open it and uh, and yeah, how are we gonna open the condensed milk? How do you guys do that in the jungle? How do we open We don't have cans milk? in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good one. <laughs> that was a good answer. So we are going to make Vietnamese coffee right now. Mama is going to explain. What are you doing, Mama? Right. Show me. Put the coffee in there. The bottom, it has holes, okay? It's not just a silver cup. I think Ninja found a solution. What is it, Ninja? You got a scissor. Here. Go hard, bro. Come on, man. Wow, that's <laughs> bad aim in there. Wow, well, Ninja, you need to eat more sushi food. Whoa, there you go. Cuban style. There you go. Oh my God. First step. And then? And then, ice. As you can see, we got the coffee in here. And then this goes on top. So Momo found another recipe of Vietnamese coffee and ex now explain this one. Well, this one is interesting. Right. Now this one is what they call the egg Vietnamese coffee. Oh interesting. You're gonna pour your condensed milk. Alright, so you're gonna throw in there. Oh my god. Oh my oh we got it inside the yolk. Now we blend it. Alright. Oh my I gotta be honest, that one doesn't look very appetizing right now. No, it is not. <laughs> Now is the sous vide coffee, so we're gonna put a couple clips over here and we're gonna use these little clips to hold it in place. Now we're gonna take this thing over here. Really? I take that out with my hands every day. Really? Really? It's not 150. Oh wow. Look at that. It looks like a... It does not look very appetizing, I must say. How does it smell though? Oh, it smells like coffee. It smells like Starbucks. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Wow. Mom, Mom, what did you do here? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> and that's why I do most of the cooking. <laughs> 
Mama, don't get upset at your own self, Mama. Coffee everywhere. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Mama, what happened? Still cleaning coffee off of this freaking table. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Smack you, keep laughing. <laughs> Let me see under the coffee thing. Pick it up. Show it. <laughs> I gotta be honest, it takes forever. Wow. Why does it take me a long time? So V takes a long time, man. Eh? All right, so since it's taking a little while, we are gonna go ahead and get back to work and then we're gonna have our review and testing. Let's do it. All right, so now it's time for the truth, Ninja. How does it look? It look good. <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. Let's see how Mama did. First one, try Ninja, this one here first. This is the Cuban coffee. This is what we're used to. That's good. Powerful and delicious like we always do. Now the second one, Ninja, out of respect for you, this one is has egg on it, so I don't know if you want to give it a try. Yeah. You're not trying that one? Okay, so I will go for it. I know Ninja doesn't like egg, but this one's delicious. I really like it. All right, the third one. Vietnamese with condensed milk, Ninja. Let's try it. Let me know how it tastes. Oh, man. That's good. Oh man, oh man, huh? That was good, huh? <laughs> that was good. I don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight, but. <laughs> <laughs> that was delicious. Last one, Sufi Coffee Ninja. Let's see. Sufi Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? Mama, what the hell? You. <laughs> Oh, I fell in my nose. Oh. Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> what is that, my it's, mouth? It's something that make you uh, shiver <laughs> wantonly. <laughs> I gotta be honest, it's absolutely terrible. Was it too strong, not sweet enough? It's like it's not blended well and it's kind of like a mix of the coffee by itself with the water and did little something and it didn't work it feels yeah it feels like it was it was not mixed well there you go guys i think sous -vide is fantastic for a lot of things but i definitely don't recommend it doing coffee we have to give it a second try if you guys disagree with me please put a comment below let us know if Mao Mao did anything correctly and he'll give it another go but uh, it was a good fun try to do now we're gonna have a lot of energy for the rest of the day ninja i'm not gonna sleep tonight <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. And remember, if you're interested in anything I use, everything is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Love Take care, guys. guys. Bye-bye. What do you think went wrong? I think what went wrong is that the recipe, when I do it, I only do one cup. I measure by cups. This one was kind of just in the eye. And because it was such a big container, we probably didn't leave it long enough. That was like a liter of water compared to the one that I do at home for two hours, uh, two cups of water. So, so you think that was a mistake there? Yeah, I think that was definitely a mistake over there. Be but, honest, Mama. Is sous -vide coffee better than Cuban coffee? No. Is sous -vide coffee better than Brazilian coffee? No. Is sous -vide coffee better than Starbucks? hundred times. Is sous -vide coffee better than Vietnamese coffee? So V coffee is very good if you like iced coffee, you can make a, a batch, keep it on the fridge. Like I said, the, the two cups recipe that I do, it's uh, two cups of water and one cup of coffee, and it lasts me for days. So tell us the truth, so V coffee sucks. No, so V coffee is good if you do it right. I don't do it right. <laughs> Let us know your recipe so we can share and uh, learn to do it better. Uh, thank you guys, see you on the next one.